Hi everyone. Today we are going to see how we can deploy a static web application on Corio. Corio is an internal developer platform which helps you to easily deploy your cloud native applications. For today's video, we will be using a sample to do application. We will link it in the description below. To start off with, we need to log into the Corio portal. So you can navigate to the Corio.dev website and sign up or sign in to the Corio portal using any of the preferred options. I have already signed into the Corio portal. As the first step, we are going to create a project in order to create our web application. I'm going to click on create project. I'm going to call my project demo project. You can provide a description as needed. I'm going to select the multi-repo option and click on create. This will create a project. So the next step is to create a web application component. I'm going to click on web application and this will take me to the create web application page. Here we are supposed to provide a component name for our web application. I'm going to call this to do app and you can provide a description as needed. The next step is to authorize Corio with GitHub so that you can provide your code repository in which your code resides. Let's click on the authorize with GitHub button. This will ask you to authorize Corio along with GitHub. The next step is to select your organization. I'm going to select my organization and I'm going to select the repository where my code resides. It's called Corio sample to do list and I'm going to use the main branch. Since my application is a Node.js static web app, I'm going to select the Node.js build pack. You need to provide your project directory in which your code resides. If your project has multiple directories, you can click on edit and select the relevant directory here. So since mine resides in the root, I'm just going to select the root directory and click on continue. The next step is to select the language version. I'm going to select the 20x version and my port, I'm going to leave it as 880. I'm going to go ahead and click on create. So at this point, our web application component is getting created inside the project. The web application component is now successfully created and it has taken us to the overview page where we can get information about our component. So the next step is to build the web application. Let's go into the build tab from the left navigation bar. I'm going to click on build latest, which will build my latest commit. So what happens at this point is your code is built and the image is created and the image is pushed into a container registry. And then at deployment time, it will pull the image and deploy your application. This will take a few minutes. So now our application has been built. You can see the successful status here. The next step is to deploy our application. Let's click on the deploy tab in the left navigation bar. So this takes us to the deploy page where you can see the development environment and the production environment. We are going to deploy a web application into the development environment first. You can go ahead and click on the configure and deploy button. In the configure and deploy pane, you can uh, provide any file with configurations related to your web application. You can go ahead and click on the add button and provide your web application configuration file. Since I don't have any specific configurations, I'm going to go ahead and deploy. So this will deploy my application into the development environment. So the application has been successfully deployed into the development environment. You can see the active status here. Uh, it, it will provide us with the web app URL. I'm going to go ahead and click on the web app URL. So this is my web application. Let's go ahead and test the web app uh, in the development environment. I'm going to go ahead and strike off an activity and I'm going to test my delete action as well by deleting this task. Let me create a new task as well. I'm going to call this task 5 and the task is going to be to write a blog. Let's click on save. And you can see the newly added task here. Now we can see that our web application, which is deployed in the development environment is successfully working. The next step is to promote it to the production environment. Let's go ahead and click on the promote button in the development card. So this gives us two options where we can divide, 
where we can define new configuration values or use the development configurations. So uh, in most scenarios, when you move into a production environment, you will have new configuration values that you need to provide. Uh, if you want to use the same development configurations, you can select the second option. And if you click next, it will pick up any configurations that you provided for the development environment automatically here. Since I didn't provide any configurations and didn't need any configurations for my web application, I'm just going to go and click promote. This will promote my application into the production environment. So my web application has successfully deployed into the production environment. Let's click on the web app URL to test it and see if it works as expected in the production environment. My web app, which was just deployed into the production environment, has loaded. I'm going to go ahead and test this application. Uh, let's strike off a certain action and we can go ahead and delete it. I'm going to try creating a new action as well. I'm going to call it write an article and I'm going to save this new action item. So you can see that this new action item has been added. I'm going to go ahead and strike it off my list. So as you see, the application is working as expected. It was working well in the development environment and we promoted it to the production environment and it is working as expected. So we were successfully able to deploy our static web application on Corio in just a few minutes with just a few clicks. See how easy that was using Corio. So stay tuned for more videos where we teach you how to deploy your cloud native applications using Corio.